Um, what I'm going to try and do is, <laughs> Aaron and I struggled with this a little bit. Um, I, I never want to just give you an answer because ultimately just giving you an answer is actually not going to help you to work out the answer next time because you'll need someone else to give you the answer. So I'm going to try and walk you through the path I took to get my solution. I'm actually going to show it to you twice because the first solution I came up with was all right, but there's a much better one and I only worked it out afterwards, okay? So let me just guide you through my thought process. This is what we're trying to prove, okay? Now the first thing I want to know is, I've seen some of you, um, more than one of you, convert this into degrees and then solve, find, prove the identity in degrees, okay? Now, it, strictly speaking, there's no problem with that. Like if you solve this, if you provided a solution um, in degrees and it worked, thumbs up. Like degrees and radians are just alternative measures. However, I'm just going to put, put this question to all of you. Why might it be in my interest to not do this in degrees, but to do it in radians? It's not a rhetorical question. What might be the point? Why, in fact, did I bother giving you an exercise you've actually seen before, but pulled out all the questions in radians on purpose? How long ago did you meet radians? How long ago? A week? Week and a bit, maybe, right? So this is a new idea for us. It's a new category in your brain. And you have to get used to using this category because it's what you need to do calculus on all of these things, okay? So sort of the whole point here is to get your brain, like to shape it into a different thing, like, you know, be flexible enough to, um, with, your, with your mind to work with these the same way you're comfortably working in degrees. So I'm gonna leave everything in radians, okay? Now, my second question to you is, which way will I go? I'm required to prove this identity. Do you think it makes more sense to go from the left to the right or to go from the right to the left? Which does your instinct say? My instinct says left to right. Now, you can do either. It's an equation, so the sides are equal. But our brains are generally better at working with a complicated object and turning it into a simple object. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm going to work with the left-hand side here. I'm going to say left-hand side equals and I'm just going to write it as it stands. And then I pause for a moment. Okay. Now, there are two different directions you can go in, and I'm going to first show you the most obvious one that came to me. This is in the form 2 sine A cos B. Yeah, the angles do not match. If they did match, that would be double angle for sine. That would be nice. I can just use that formula, but they don't match which presents me with an issue, okay? So I have a look at all of these results that I was, we were thinking about and deriving earlier, right? And I noticed that this sine A cos B, it only comes up in two of the six identities. Do you notice which two? Which two is it? It's the first two, right? It's this one and this one, okay? There's a sine A cos B in each of them, but I noticed that over here on this right hand side, there's like stuff that I'm supposed to get that's not there. Like there's missing, there's no cos A sine B that comes along for the ride. So whatever this came from, the cos A sine B's have somehow vanished, right? And there's lots of ways you can get rid of something, but especially being that I have everything on the board, and I'm going to get rid of these now because they're irrelevant. Especially as I have them on the board, there's a way you can think back to your algebra and all of your solving equations stuff that you know from there, there's a way using these two objects together that I can get rid of these cos A sine B's that I don't have over here. What could I do to these two objects that would eliminate them? Think, if you've got a plus here and a minus here, then like if you had simultaneous equations, this is crying out to add these equations together. And then both of these are gone. Does that make sense? Not only are both of them gone, but how many of these will you get? you will get two. That looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. Um, this is a bit of a long form way of writing it, but again, it's a proof, so I'm gonna to lean towards writing things in a long way. I'm going to add and subtract this same term. If you add and subtract it, it's the same object, right? So I've got this, two sine four pi on five, cos pi on five. I'm gonna add this cos a sine b term. Um, let's see here. Cos here, sine here, like that. But I'm also going to subtract it. So 
So this is very similar to what we did with, say, rationalizing the denominator when you dealt with thirds. You multiply by something and you also divide by it. Well, here I'm adding and I'm subtracting. So there's no net change, okay? So we have one more thing that I do which makes this a bit easier to see, the connection, right? See how there's two here? Well, it's because they collected like terms. If I uncollect the like terms and put them separately, like that. Do you see what I've got now? This guy up here is this first identity. And this one down the bottom is the second. Do you see why I've written it in that way? So now I can substitute all of this long stuff for this short stuff. I'm undoing a trig expansion. Does that make sense? So what's, um, what am I A and B? 4 pi and 5 and pi on 5. So therefore, when I have a plus b, when you add those two together, you get, think, 4 pi on 5, pi on 5, you add them and you get pi. pi. Yep, that's the whole first thing there. Okay. When I do the second one, it's a subtraction, right? So if this is 4 pi on 5 minus pi on 5, what do you get? 3 pi on 5, right? Now at this point you ought to get really suspicious because if you're getting more comfortable with using radians now, you know that pi is equal to how many degrees? It's 180 degrees. And you know what sine looks like, don't you? There it is. Where's 180 degrees? Where's pi radians? It's right there. Sorry, this is badly symmetrical, but there you go. That's the point I'm interested in. So that's zero plus this. Now at this point you're either cheering or really upset because you're like, that's not what I was supposed to get, right? But if you've done everything right, which we have, then these two things should be equal. And they are. How can you prove that they are? What's the difference between 3 pi and 5? Or I should say, what's the relationship between 3 pi and 5 and 2 pi and 5? What are they? They're, starts with an S, long word. They're supplementary, aren't they? They add to pi, but that's, an identity that I can use, right? Sine of 180 minus 30, sine of 150, is the same as sine 30. So that is the sine 2 pi on 5 that was required, okay? So, this way works, and it uses all of the knowledge that you've got. But then, when I realized that I could have done this, you know how when you do a trig identity, you prove that one thing equals another? There's um, lots of ways to do it. I'm sure there's like five or ten ways to do this, okay? As soon as I realized that I had to do this, I realized I could have done it earlier, and that would have been helpful. When could I have done this? Have a look at your working. I, I could have done this, this pi minus whatever angle. I could have done it right up here. Watch what happens if we do it early, okay? And then... Um, and get ready to cry. Um, this is 2 sine 4 pi on 5 cos pi on 5. That's the first thing. Okay. Now, where shall I use this? I think I should use it here. Do you see it? Do you see what's about to happen? Right? This is 2 sine of pi take away 4 pi on 5. That's the identity I just used right there. Is that okay? Cos pi on 5. How are you going with getting used to these pi's and these fractions? What's pi minus 4 pi and 5? Let me say it again. What's pi minus 4 pi and 5? It's, it's just pi and 5, right? Oh, snap. There's that double angle, which I'm so good at seeing when it's degrees, but I'm not so good at seeing when it's radians. Okay. 